Hello everyone and welcome. After call work is a common pain point for call centers and can negatively affect agent efficiency and uh, customer satisfaction. So with the help of uh, GC events, we can analyze every interaction and react immediately if any issues. For example, if after call work longer than specified amount of seconds. There are two options how to do that. One of them based on our new GC event agent matrix rule for uh, after call work timeout. We specified a rule for two queues with a timeout of 10 seconds. So when the rule failed, then we will receive an event and we need to parse uh, this event data to agent rule and, uh, for example, insert uh, this uh, record uh, to uh, Excel document uh, under uh, SharePoint. Uh, or you can um, post uh, this uh, record to uh, any CRMs uh, or any other messengers. Uh, another solution uh, is uh, more complicated, but uh, it's based on standard conversation email event. So. Uh, we need to parse this event uh, to email conversation record. Uh, then we need to specify uh, variable end of the call work time and default undefined. The same with start of the call work time. And uh, if agent uh, after call work started, uh, we need we need to insert uh, after call work record to Azure Storage. Uh, and uh, if it's uh, still not uh, finished, uh, then uh, we need to delay until uh, start after call work time plus uh, 10 seconds. 10 seconds, it's, like it's uh, our timeout. Uh, and uh, after this time, we need to get a record from Azure Storage. And uh, uh, if uh, after call work end time still undefined, um, then we need to um, send a message to teams uh, to notify uh, supervisors or uh, to send message to Salesforce or maybe uh, same as uh, previous example to send message to uh, Excel document. So uh, I'm going to send message to Genesis Cloud and uh, uh, we'll do this example with uh, after call work. So I sent message and uh, just need to wait. Yes. So send and now after call work started. So we need to wait uh, 10 seconds and uh, let's check uh, on the SharePoint Excel document. 10 seconds. Yes, so now we have uh, this uh, record uh, on the Excel document and uh, let's check uh, our Teams channel. So as you can see, uh, this message available on the Teams as well uh, from a second example. Thank you for watching.